ball handling to us is actually kind of an extension of our strength work. And, and what I mean by that is we like to do a lot of ball handling mixed with our strength work. Good, straight lines. Anything we can do to fatigue the arms, to fatigue the body, and, and force you to to go through our ball handling drills in a fatigued state, you're just going to be able to do, you know, in a game, you're going to be able to perform that much better with the basketball. Good. Pound, pound, pound. Rather than just a player standing there with one basketball and focusing on dribbling that one basketball, we add a second, maybe even a third movement to kind of get the, the mind processing at a faster speed. Just like in a game, there's never one thing you're concentrating on. Toss, cross, good. Toss, cross, good. You may have the score, you may have time, coach calling out a play, you got teammates cutting, defenders moving all over the place. You know, there's several things you gotta, you gotta process. We've had a lot of success with it. We use a lot of contrasting where we'll go from a two ball drill directly into a one ball drill that mimics the same two ball drill. With our NBA players, we, you know, we talk to them a lot. What's your go-to move? We'll watch film with them. You know, okay, you like to use this move a lot, so let's figure out how we can add some tennis balls to this, figure out how we can add a medicine ball to this to help you improve on this move. You got to control two things. There you go. Tap, we try tap, to tap, overload tap. the body action, and, and action. have the brain communicate in as many different Good. ways and in many different parts of the body as we can during the, the ball handling to help them be more efficient with the ball when we take everything away.